my girl gave me my first threesome. I was so drunk, bro. I blew the bitch. <laughs> I blew the bitch. So you had the gummy worm. This shit was over with, huh? Man, what? <laughs> he fell down and did not get up. <laughs> Like we suck at uh at faking it. Oh, he's paused right there. <laughs> what? Oh, he paused right there. We suck. At, oh, I guess. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, welcome to episode sixty-six. Hold on. So this is episode sixty-five and not sixty-six. Pat's an idiot, and um, our listeners, you guys are free to call in names or whatever you want to do. But yeah, episode sixty-five. Here's the show. It's your boy Pat. That's uh Michelangelo. Um, it's all right. Just Michael. Keep going, bro. That boy want to be so special. Nah, hey, follow not... us on IG. Bam. Uh, follow us on TikTok. Boom. Subscribe to our YouTube. Bad out. Like us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon. We got we got a couple. We got a lot more Patreon members than we thought. That's crazy. Keep building that community. Cause literally, our Patreon is literally just us. It's a dollar. I think the 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 next thing we're gonna start doing just because there's a couple people in there. I just left it there for general support, but now there's since there's a decent amount of people in there, uh, we'll start doing like early release of like the the uh, the video podcast for yeah. sure. Um, and then as you know, more people get in there. Right now it's only a dollar, so I can't you know we're not gonna give you a whole second podcast. But honestly, once we get if we get like a hundred people in there, we'll start doing like maybe like a thirty minute pod extra podcast yeah we'll give you all something extra yeah. maybe some extra callers or something yeah, that yeah. other people don't get to hear some stuff we cut out too um we we cut out quite a bit yeah for, for, yeah for some of these calls just because some of them are incriminating but i don't care if that's on, on patreon to be honest yeah speaking of uh incriminating you you seen uh Ime Udoka? yeah man the celtics Ni- head coach nigerians are down he is nigerian Ebo too, same tribe. Shout out to the nation. <laughs> that boy cheated on Nia Long. Yeah. Why do people keep saying that, though? Because Nia Long in their head is just like, you know, like J. Cole got a bar about Nia Long. Like, mm-hmm. her her look is stapled amongst the black community. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. For sure, like, you know, probably 25% of the black community's number one crush yeah. growing up. Mm-hmm. So the, the aura of Nia Long to cheat on her, but people don't understand how relationships work. You know what I mean? Like they could have been on, they've been engaged for seven years. That's kind of crazy. But just to get back to, if you ain't heard the email story, you should have. But basically, he cheated on Nia Long with it looks like a, a team, the team travel planner, and also the big one is the vice president of financials of the Celtics, his wife, mm. and he cheated with them. I'm guessing he got suspended a year. Everybody was wondering like, I hey, get suspended a year for having an affair. He has to spend it a year for having an affair with a higher rankings wife, which is. Yeah, I don't think he how he stays in the organization then. What? I don't see how he stays in the no, organization. No, they suspended him a year. They trying to. I, to me, the Celtics are playing this smart. If they fired him, everybody's like coming at them. They want to make sure, um, you know, they get everything. Like they got to talk to their lawyers. Like what? What can we? Like what can we do? Can we fire him? Let's suspend them a year till we figure out what we can do without le- without it legally coming back to bite us. Yeah, because ass. now it, it is some legal issues that can happen from because now if let's just say any in, in most jobs that that's in like the HR handbook, like just relationships with some would let you have be in a relationship, but you have to both announce like like go to HR and say yeah. we're both in a consensual relationship that type, that type of thing. But most of the time, if it's a, if it's a violation. And it doesn't say termination could be a result of this, then that's where it gets like tricky that, because now right. you're firing me for an offense that you said is a 12 month offense. Now you're gonna fire me for it. Yeah. But I don't see how anybody can coexist. I think the other thing too is he'll that never I'm, coach again. He'll never coach. Coach again? Coach as a head coach in NBA again? Maybe with the Celtics. Never. You don't Nobody. Think, you don't think ever? Cooked in the NBA? Cooked. I think after a couple of years he might be able to. I think for a couple of years. Cooked. I mean, it's just. <laughs> and it, the thing is, is I don't even. So 
the thing that's still not being told is like what is the so it's been reported that he said some unwanted things to one yeah. of the girls. So what were the unwanted things that he said? And, and they knew it, about this in July. Right. And they told him to stop. Yeah. They told this man to stop. And Nia Long found out through the press. Yeah. She And she was there she was looking for a house after he already knew that this was already coming. That's crazy. Like he knew the story was gonna come out eventually. That boy toxic. That's crazy. Yeah, man. That's tough. It's just tough because it's it's so public. But again, I saw the little thing with uh, Stephen A. Smith and um, Malika Andrews arguing and stuff like that. And basically, the context was she thought that Stephen A. was blaming the woman in the situation. But uh, I think what Stephen A. was trying to say was that if Emay's outed as being one side of that relationship that broke um, HR rules, pretty much organizational rules, right. As the girl who also participated um, in the relationship, the consensual relationship, did she get suspended? And who is she? Because right, if, so if, if he's already out there as being a cheater, obviously because he's why, a head coach. Why does right, right? That's the reason. But why does he get out it? And then Brad Stevens gets on a press conference, which is the president of the Celtics. He gets on a press conference and says that he's disappointed in Twitter and in the media. Because the two girls that came out that everybody thought that did it did not do it. People just yeah. basically went to the Celtics website. Try to find the best looking and girl. And find the best two looking girls and put their picture out there. And it ended up not being them. So he was mad about that. But how can you be mad when you say, oh, we're suspending Ime Udoka for breaking, uh, for breaking rules about and having a consensual relationship but saying some unwanted things. So you yeah. put it out there, and you said it was a female staffer, and then left it at that, yeah. then got mad when people speculated on who it was. It's like, that's the dumbest shit ever. That's the internet for you. It, it does it does really suck for those girls, uh, the women that um had nothing to do with it. Yeah, that it shit just, sucks. It does suck. Because Especially now, for her husband. Like, that's yeah, my exactly. wife or something. I'm sick. Like, yeah, you're damn. wondering. Exactly. That's like, it gets really weird. If it gets weird for them moving forward, too, because now – they're seen a, lo- a little bit more. And I yeah. was like, oh, she's the one. Like, some people not even know the truth yet. To, like, right. we're saying it now, but there's a lot of people that still probably think that's, that's, the, that's girl, the girl. Because that's the last time they checked in on the story. That's how the internet works, yeah. bro. Sometimes it's not the truth. It's like the first thing that's out there is mm-hmm. what sticks. Yeah. Hey, don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Rule so, of thumb. Don't cheat. Especially not on Neil Long, right? Neil Long. Did they say that to ASAP when he cheated on? Oh, when the, the rumors were he cheated on? Um, but the the rumors were fake. They were, but did they say that about like? like yeah, basically. He cheated yeah. on Rihanna. No, they was happy he cheated on Rihanna. Ah. Uh, because they wanted Rihanna back on the streets. On yeah. the streets. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say Rihanna's for this. I got, I got a question for you. Go ahead. Okay. What job does smoking powder? Affect the most. What job does smoking powder cocaine? Yeah, yeah. Like you can say cocaine. You think so? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just doing it for TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I ask it again. Yeah. What job does smoking crack affect the most? <laughs> affect the most. Okay. Yeah. It affects all jobs, but there's one that might affect the most. Oh, yeah. I mean, being an officer. You think so? Yeah, the way them boys be acting. <laughs> I mean, being an officer on crack is kind of that's kind of crazy. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be wild as hell. If, <laughs> if you got pulled over and you'd be like, "Bro, is he doing a line before he come yeah. to check my insurance?" Another one would be like a massage therapist. To be on crack, nah, they probably be vibing. Choo, choo, choo. A little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Start running their forearms between nah, your ass I don't even cheeks. know why I didn't think of this. The number one answer is definitely a surgeon. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> How'd they get the job, though? That's crazy. Exactly. But And then also I want to know, what job should not, what job should you not be able to get a degree online for? <sighs> Just completely online? Online. Um, I should say a doctor as well. Damn. I'm, 
No, hell yeah. <laughs> hey, what if your, you ask your doctor, hey, uh, doc, when you graduate? He'd be like, uh, DeVry, class of February. Like, the fuck? <laughs> class of February? That's one month, dog. <laughs> Yeah, would have graduated. I would say, what's that one college that Romeo was promoting? IDC, ICDC College. Is that school still around? I don't know. I ain't heard a commercial. I wonder how much Romeo got paid for that. Get that bag for that. He had to. He probably was responsible. He was still popular then. A little bit. He has to be responsible. Maybe like, let's say like twenty thousand in enrollment. Got to right. He made it cool to. That's a safe number to say over. Like that was going off. I'm guessing that school was probably in California or something. I think it was online as well. I think it was everywhere. Was it not? That I don't know. I think they had different branches in different states. Wow. Because it was like, what was the other dude want to be like to sit on the couch and be like, get up? I think it was the same thing. You think so? Yeah. I see what you're doing. You on the couch? You laying like this? You like? I used to hate his ass. Because I think he was the one with the combination where after he said that, it then panned to the Romeo thing. Mm, I could be completely maybe. wrong. I think you're completely wrong. <laughs> and you're not from America, so you don't count. I definitely remember that though. So you see the um that one person that caught Aaron Judge's uh home run ball gave um um uh, gave it back to him just for a signed jersey and stuff like that. Crazy. Talk about fumbling the bag. What? For more morality? That's crazy. Nah. <laughs> Nah, Aaron just definitely gonna have to come out some cash for if I caught his home run ball. Nah, I'd be trolling his ass. I'd be like, yeah, I got your uh I got your ball. Come to this address. <laughs> he come to his address, he's like, damn, it's a little league going. I'm like, yeah, you see that ball they pitching with? <laughs> it's your ball right there. <laughs> 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 That's some evil shit. That's some evil shit. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah, where my ball? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> he just went to first. <laughs> go get it. <laughs> you go take it from some kids. <laughs> you want it, you got to take it from the kids. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he would probably, though. Nah, he wouldn't. No, nah, that's crazy. I definitely would try to get some Pujols hit. Albert Pujols hit one, and he was just like, he doesn't care if they give him the ball back. He'll just make a replica. Like, do it? Does it hold that much? No, it does because that, those person can get so it. So if you a caught PSA, a game winning touchdown, PSA verify whatever you, the. If you if you caught a game winning touchdown in a Super Bowl, mm-hmm. would you want that exact ball? Would I want that? Yeah. You what? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't care. But I think I, I, I think the replica. I think there's another reason too because I think the Money MLB wise? the MLB I think has to certify that ball. I think just like the Tom Brady ball that happened, mm-hmm. where if, if it left the stadium without being certified, it pract- technically would be worth nothing in official certification. So I wonder what goes into the Hall of Fame. Because like, you, you know football always, they'll have like, you know, Lamar Jersey's game-worn jersey, Lamar Jackson's game-worn jersey in the Hall of Fame that he rushed, that he broke the, you know, rushing record yeah. with, or something like that. I, Yeah. So I, like who really gets it and who has a replica? Oh, oh, sometimes you give the, the Hall of Fame those jerseys, too. Right. Yeah. So, so then the player gets a replica? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do, they, do they even get the ball? No, th- yeah. But if the ball leaves the stadium, though, I don't think – I believe so. That's why we need a producer on the show. But if it leaves the stadium because you can go home and actually change the ball and nobody would know type of shit. So it has – I think if you if you cut any ball inside oh. the stadium – you have to get it verified. Now I, now I get why the they kind of gave up the ball so easily. That's yeah. a lot of pressure. I mean, when I would have caught the game winning ball and you in like you in your Yankee shirt, right? Yeah. You in all Yankees. They like, bro, you a fan? Is you a fan or not? Do you want Aaron yeah. Judge to have this ball? And then you just gonna be like, no. That's a lot of pressure. All right, we should probably call some listeners. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it. Hey, what's good, fam? Holy shit. Yo, what's good? <laughs> nah, fuck you, Pat. Damn. <laughs> just right off the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I see you got an Android. This all makes sense now. Bro, I got the iPhone 13. The 13? That boy calling out numbers? So you, <laughs> you shaming people that can't get the 13? Just nah. like just like an audio listener, man. Damn. All that hate for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Hey, why your mattress on the floor? I <laughs> just like let it go up. <laughs> I saw your, your, your the preview of your story in the text message. I don't all the way believe it, but please intro your intro your story. Like give it a, give it a title and then go into it. So this is how blank 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 happened. All right, so I basically got catfished by one of Mike's people. 
You got catfished uh, by who? One of your people. One of my people? Yeah. Who's his people? Oh, she was, she was like straight from Nigeria. All right, just tell the story first. <laughs> I like the way you told the story. All right, so basically I got on, it was Tinder at the time, and I'm just going around. I matched with this one girl. Her name was Treya. So we, we're messaging every day for a little bit. Kick it. Uh, we decide, let's we going to meet up and kick it, right? I'm like, hey, you want me to come to your place and pick you up? She messaged me back, nah, just just go to the restaurant and I'll meet you there. We're supposed to be there at six. I'm sitting there, 10 minutes, so I messaged her, no answer. Then another 20 minutes passed, I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna just head out. So as soon as I get ready to go, this big ass dude comes up behind me, taps me on my shoulder. He's like, hey, are you Trey? I'm like, yeah, why? He's like, all right, bet. Uh, I'm Trey too. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, how can I help you? He's like, oh, we've been we've been talking on Tinder. I'm like, nah, can't be. No, not possible. I'm waiting on my date. <laughs> and then, and then this dude, he says, in his original voice, air quotes. Uh, yeah, that was me. I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, he, he talked in his girl voice? Yeah. That's crazy. And you recognize the voice right away. Yeah, because... Y'all have phone have... sex? <laughs> no. Finish your story. Finish your story, because I got so many questions. Where this... Go ahead. You didn't even have to get to this point, but go ahead. Keep going. All right, so... I'm like, nope, not possible. Not going to happen. I mean, I'm good with you, and uh, how you choose to live your life. I just don't like being catfished. So I politely say I must excuse myself and I'm about to leave the restaurant. <laughs> this dude, he follows me out. He's like, hey, hey, stop. Because I'm not, I'm not a small dude. I'm like, <laughs> I'm six foot, like 240. <laughs> this dude comes up. He's like, starts manhandling me. I'm like, nah, what the fuck? So, I, <laughs> so he, he got like a good three, four inches on me. Whoa! <laughs> no. In height? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought you was comparing right, so. y'all things. Go ahead. It's so. it's her though because he's, she's transitioning. Oh no, she's transitioning to a man. So yeah, it's him. It is him. Yeah, he yeah. him. Yeah, he he's like six four, something like that. So this, like, was a, this was a six four girl at first. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I she should have been in the WNBA. <laughs> What's she transitioning? It's time to get this bread. <laughs> Go ahead. So he, he starts manhandling me, right? I'm like, nah. I like what I is what is me. what is manhandling me? Right. Like, what is he doing to you? So I'm like, oh, he, like, he, he grabbed put... my shoulder, turned me around like I'm a little kid. <laughs> and then he like grabbed my shoulders and like was holding me in place. So I gotta push back and get ready for a fight, because that's what's up. <laughs> and then I'm Wait. at my <laughs> Fuck no, we not skipping over that. <laughs> like, grab your shoulders. Oh, turn you and face him. Yeah. Oh, we thinking like he tried. He, you already facing oh, him. No, and he, no. gra <laughs> he grabbing your shoulders and he turning you around. So he's saying, yeah. turn and face me. My bad. Yeah, he, he grabbed my arm. He grabbed my arm and told me to turn and face him and everything. And he's like, you got to listen. <laughs> I got and one question. I, wait, wait, wait. You wear glasses? No. Okay, okay. Because your glasses came off, this should be crazy. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking that I'm getting ready for a fight. And then I, like, jump back a little bit, get ready. I, like, square up, get ready to swing. Just in case he, you know, he tries to do some shit. This motherfucker bomb rushes me, grabs me, like, in a fucking bear hug and sits me on my got on the goddamn hood of my car. Oh, shit. You think this love of basketball? You're a victim. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, hey. All right, how do he lift you up? Like, did your legs wrap around his waist type shit? Nah, he just, he picked me up. Like, he. What did your legs do when he picked you I up? I feel like he bear hugged okay. you and put you on the hood. At some point, he in between your legs. Hey, don't. No, no, this no, is a this legit real. question. This physics, like. Or was it meat to meat? <laughs> <laughs> this crazy. 
So keep going, keep going. Keep going, my bad. What happened after he put, he put you, you in the car? We getting, we sidetracking. That's what we do. My bad. Go ahead. He put you in the hood of the car. Yeah, he hits you, sits me on the hood of my car. Sits you. That is he crazy. Saying, hey. What? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. How did your legs have to be for him to sit, sit you, down? you down? That's what I'm saying. All right. So basically, he. I was sitting. So on when the he lifted you up, were your feet off the ground? This is. Let's just go step by step. When he lifted you yeah, up, he, were your feet off the ground? Yes. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Big ass strong dude. I know. Right. I, I met some strong dudes, but to be getting lifted <laughs> off the ground. Yes, yeah, it caught me. The, it caught me off guard, man. All right. So once your feet were in the air, were they wrapped around something? No, I was kicking the fuck out of them. Trying so to you were kicking in the air. So he, wait, 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 wait. So he didn't bear hug you. He picking you up like a baby under your arms. No, he like he bear hugged me around my arms. He bear hugged you around your arms, right? Yeah, like my so arms. Are y'all pink. had to be meet to meet, and then he sat you on the car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got okay, that out yeah. the way. Go okay, ahead. Go ahead. Continue. All right, so I'm trying to get away from him. He's he's holding me in place. I swear, to, I don't know what the fuck he was eating, but <laughs> this shit made him strong as fuck. So he's holding me in, in place. I'm like. Tell him, let me the fuck go. And he's like, just listen to me. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And how old are you? How old are you? At the time, I was 20. I'm, uh, I mean, I was 21 at the time, but I'm 22 now. 22? He said the time like it was five years ago. <laughs> it was the last year. <laughs> you're, you're a victim. Go Bro, ahead. Bro. No, wait, he, let him finish the story. Oh okay, go ahead. This is so much... Questions I have, but go ahead. All right, so you hit on the like, car, he grab you, you say, "Hey, you better let me go." Yeah, I'm, I'm fighting this. I feel like Kevin Hart, but so he's, he's for real, just like, "Hey, just sit, listen, we can work this out." I know you're not really into men, and I know that I said that I was a woman. I used to be a woman. He, he was sending me pictures and videos and shit from three years ago, which was when he transitioned or before he transitioned. I mean, so this whole time he explained everything and I'm like, okay, thanks for explaining. I, I'm still not interested. And then I'm like, now let me, the, let me go. Let me go. Wait, 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 wait. Through this whole conversation, <laughs> he had you pinned out. No, I, I, Okay, most of the conversation. <laughs> All right. When did you break away after the third paragraph? All right, buddy. No, nah, he he was talking fast. It okay. wasn't a conversation. He spent like forty five seconds. Forty five seconds, long ass time to be <laughs> grabbed yeah, it, like that. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I did get away eventually. So what happened? Like, how did you get away? You just said I'm not into that, and you walked away. No, nah, I. I said, I'm, well, yeah, I did say I'm not into that. And then he like tried to manhandle me again. So I wasn't about to let that happen. So I pulled out my knife. I'm like, nah, back the fuck up. We gonna have a problem. He starts screaming and yelling and shit. People are looking at what around. voice? And what, what voice? Yeah, I was about to ask, which voice he yelling? Oh, he's yelling his voice. His, his voice is deeper than mine. That's the fucking voice he was yelling in. Okay. Okay, not the voice over the phone. So it's more like, ah. Oh. Yeah. All right, but he, He's like actually fucking crying and shit. He's like, why don't you love me? Like, bitch, first of all. We've only been talking for like a week. So there's, there's, you jumped a gun with that shit already. But nah, you can't just force somebody to do that. I say all this as I'm like basically backing away slowly to my car door just so I can get the fuck out of there. People come and be like, hey, what's, what's, what's the problem? What's going on? I, and before long, I was heading, but heading the fuck home. All right. <laughs> are you like? Are you afraid for your life? Yeah, that shit was scary. I'm not are gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The story sounded fake as hell. But we're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. So I believe this. I have a multiple questions. One, you have an iPhone. Y'all never Facetimed. She didn't have an iPhone. He, so n- he. He didn't. At the time, I thought it was she. But yeah, he did have an iPhone. Okay. What restaurant was it? It was um. It's a, what's what the fuck's it called? The place with the the Italian place with the bread. It's like uh, Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Yeah. 
<laughs> and that boy what type got, of... <laughs> he almost got the wrong breast. <laughs> 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 Yo, it's got the wrong brand stick for real. What car did they sit you down on? What type of car? If it was a truck, if you, it was an SUV, we that hanging is up a, on you. That's a, a wild. Truck, that's a wild distance to go. Nah, nah I was driving a Honda Civic. Okay, so low. Oh, you got sat down. on the Honda. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long? So when you fought back and you was done talking to him, would you still sitting on the hood or you popped off? No, nah, I jumped off. Jumped off the hood. Yeah, I, I just wanted to get a little bit of space between us because he he didn't seem all that stable. Oh, he seemed kind of off. Did the person look like a, a a girl to you? I could I could see you could see the, the, the vision. Yeah, like he he had a he got a buzz cut, and it was low on the size and everything. <laughs> and he still had the features, but it's like he started working out his jaw or something because it was fizzled. But she was she was originally a girl. And transition yeah. to a man, so she's probably yeah. So I, I, I keep getting them confused. So she just wanted you. <laughs> he just wanted you to fall in love with his personality, and then yeah. he was gonna handle the rest later. Yeah. So technically, I, I, bi- biologically, yeah. or she was still, she was a girl at one point. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't know if she made that transition all the way, right? No, he he definitely had a dick. How how you know that? <laughs> when they were because he, to meet. He fucking told me. And when did you mention this in this story that he told you? What that? did he tell you? And what instance did? Oh, he he mentioned it like in that forty five seconds. I couldn't get away from him. He just said blah what? blah blah blah, and I got a dick. What? <laughs> How he said? I, I don't remember exactly what the fuck he was saying. <laughs> he, did, did he sit I you in the car and smack his meat on your head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he said I went through a full transition. No more boobs. I got a dick. Blah blah blah, and all that. So he said this while you was pinned down, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, that had me sideways, like sideways my, my is crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, sideways is is really like, wild. Si- like you was on your shoulder on the hood. Yeah, well, sorta. <laughs> oh my goodness! Like, and he telling like, you like. Hey, and I got a dick. <laughs> At this point, this is what I want to know. How, how many more sentences <laughs> until you break away? Because, hey, that's, hey, if I don't think I'll ever be in that position, but if I'm pinned down, I feel like that's a sentence that'll <laughs> give me enough energy to be like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, that was it. That was your last strike. Yeah, at least. So sideways, uh, you flipped back forward and hopped off after he told you he got a dick. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. <laughs> man. That, that was an interesting one. <laughs> God be with you. Oh, we got a question for you. <laughs> What's up? I know he's looking for your ass. Um, what? What would you wish? Okay, I'm asking. <laughs> what would you wish on your worst enemy? All right. So y'all, you know how it feels to step on a Lego, right? Yeah. Nothing but that on the bottom of your feet. Every goddamn step you take for the rest of your life. Nothing Man. terrible, but that's going to fuck up you the rest of your day. That's what you want? Yeah. Not right. for your Tinder. Uh... <laughs> what do you wish for your Tinder date? You just... Nah, I want to write hook for Mike Tyson. Oh, you want him to get knocked out? Yeah, because that, that was embarrassing and just oh, terrifying. So in theory, then... You let a a transitioning. So you got beat up by a girl. Girl, yeah. A very big girl. But a girl. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I don't like telling the story now. I think about it. Yeah. Well, you just told a couple thousand people. <laughs> it's too late. But they don't know your name, so it's that's cool. good. Stay anonymous, brother. You good? Yeah. We don't have to. We won't. We won't out you. But only yeah. only person that do know is a WNBA center that you just pissed off. <laughs> she gonna be she'll be back <laughs> alright bro appreciate you coming on man alright man alright peace good luck nigga <laughs> yo Mike you wanna crash on these podcasts what's good shit what's up man playing mad right now you mad why what's up playing Madden oh you playing Madden <laughs> yeah yeah alright let let us know your, your your story how about um 
how you crashed your car. Bro, uh, this is my mom's car. I was 14 years old. This was um, February in like 2017. So I had snuck out to go see this girl. My mom, she was asleep on the couch in the front living room. And her keys were in her purse by her. So I had to sneak right by her, grab the keys out the purse. So then I went up to my bedroom, started, but I ran back inside to make sure she didn't hear the car start, but she was still asleep. So I was like, I bet. So left to the window, got back in the car and drove like 45 minutes to see this one girl. So I'm on the way home. I'm racing the damn Camaro that's beside me. Did you I hit? my exit. So I'm... Did you hit? Duh. Okay. You saying duh like we know you, man. We don't know you got like that. I got it like that. <laughs> I got it for sure. But it's never, like, hey, 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 I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it sounds like don't you ever, don't, have, don't, don't ever chuckle and say you got it for sure to me again. <laughs> but no, I said, go ahead with the story. You're in the car. <laughs> You're speeding away. We keep interrupting people's story. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I, I was racing the Camaro, but I missed my exit. So I had to keep driving. And this car had got behind me with the bright lights on. So I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, shit. They want to race too, bet. Man. So I hit. I did the dash. Hit like 120. And then I saw lights behind me. I was like, oh, shit. Did not stop. Why didn't you stop? In my town, look, I'm from, I'm from Prairie View, Texas. So, in my town, the only cop cars we have are like big ass SUVs, you know. Mm-hmm. But this was a state trooper. They had a Dodge Charger. So I, there wasn't no getting away from that. Yeah, I'm saying, why did you so try shit, to run away from the car? I was car? driving, and I tried to make a. Uh, I thought I can get away. Duh. From the cops. Bro, I did. You so did. I can get away. What? Did but you have anything? Look. Like, why? Nobody just randomly runs from the cops. Bro, I was 14. I wasn't uh, thinking straight. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That, okay. So, so, look, I tried to make a left-hand turn off the exit, but my tires, they gripped the gravel wrong. So I hit the guardrail, and I kept driving. A fucking another car hit me from the side. Well, the driver's door, I pushed the door open with my shoulder. I got out. I started running. The cop had tasers from the back. I fell forward. My face was in the mud and shit. After that, they took my ass to the fucking police station. They called my parents. My mom came in and started punching me in front of the cops. I was like, yo! <laughs> but, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that shit. Crazy. <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. You said what? <laughs> What'd you say, Mike? Bro, How we man, losing? We losing Mike connection, right bro. We losing you connection. What? What'd you say? I can't hear. Hang up, nigga. If you gonna hang up, is he talking? <laughs> nigga, be better next time, nigga. <laughs> That shit was terrible. <laughs> he ain't coming back. <laughs> that nigga ain't coming back. My bad, y'all. <laughs> this nigga talk about a regular car accident. That's a regular car accident. <laughs> he just got on this show and explained what happens in a regular car accident. <laughs> Hey. hey, he might be the best dude. It was the was that the same dude that was talking about the the strangling baby thing? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Would you rather your partner? Oh. oh my goodness, that's funny. Appreciate you coming on, man. <laughs> hey, hold on, boy. What's up? What's up? Who are you telling to hold on? <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I'm trying to find one damn light switch. Oh, you don't have to keep. We, we're 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 gonna be staring at the ceiling. No, you uh, good. You ain't, we ain't gotta see you, bro. I gotta see you, bro. Oh, all right, that's cool. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, what's up? I see what you're doing. Uh, we're gonna start with this. At all right, go ahead. You got a story for us. Go ahead. You can tell that. All right, man. So I was down in Trailer Park with my buddy's house, 
and uh like we just going down there we's drinking cheap ass club tails if you know what those are bro they're like a dollar fifty a drink where are you from <laughs> dude west virginia okay all right i was explaining a lot i got a question for you after this all right a hundred million dollar question a hundred million dollar question yeah but go ahead go ahead my bad all right so we're sitting down there in the trailer park i mean it's a shithole <laughs> absolute shithole you can hear fucking everything and uh like everything's going smooth and then like i have nothing against gay people but his gay buddy comes over and he starts getting drunk and the drunker he gets the gayer he gets i mean <laughs> bro like for real like he just it, it just pours out of him i gets five drinks and he's done <laughs> and uh I don't know where this motherfucker talks about, like, y'all know you have a G-spot? Like, you have a G-spot. Like, y'all ever, like, touch that shit or anything? Like, you know how to use it? I'm like, fuck no. Like, fuck no, bro. I've never fucking touched my G-spot. Like, I'm I'm not interested. <laughs> Keep going, bro. I don't know Keep where, going. Out of nowhere, bro, my straight friend, like, my friend, like, he just looks at me. He's like, well, what's wrong with that, bro? Like, I have a butt plug. I'm like, bro, what? He's like, yeah, bro. It has like a controller, everything. And this motherfucker straight up told me he called it the bullet. Like, I guess that's what it was called on the fucking box. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this story is 10 times funnier because your accent, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> night keeps going. Like, we just keep sitting there cutting the shit. And then eventually. Uh, Wait, you night... <laughs> still stayed after that? Yeah, bro. those are your boys like, though, I, so it don't really I, matter. I, yeah, it's the boys. I just boys. tried ignoring it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I just tried ignoring that. I cracked a couple jokes. I was like, well, you know, I'd like to come without touching my dick too. You know, that'd be pretty easy. <laughs> but just kept going, kept going. And uh, Will left, a uh, gay guy. And then uh, we're just sitting there cutting the shit. And then out of nowhere, like he just started slurring. I mean, he just had one too many and he let it slip, man. <laughs> sat there he looked me in the eyes and he's like bro whenever you're fucking you know your girlfriend like whenever you're with her you just ever had like the the thought of just like someone coming in there and you know just like fucking her for you you know <laughs> I'm just fucking speechless. Like, uh, like, I just dropped my fucking head. I just... I <laughs> you talk to your knees like, no! <laughs> that is a wild thing. Like, how do you defend, uh, defend your best friend being a cuck? Bro, I don't. That's the thing. Like, I don't at all. Like, I, I, I've never said a word to him. Ever. Ever said a word to him. I don't think he knows he told me this, like, that he felt that way at all. Like, I don't even know if he recalls it. So, what if he chooses you? Like, he wants you to be the person to do it. Oh, no. I told all my buddies, bro. He's dating my ex's sister. And honestly, I would fucking do it and I'd put a show on. I really <laughs> would. <laughs> I was just trying to do the, the calculations when you said ex's sister. Oh, ex I don't know why in my head it was like. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. That that is a wild story, but since you're from West Virginia, I got a question for you. Oh, what's that? Would you tongue kiss your cousin for a hundred million dollars? <laughs> Hell no, bro! Because all my cousins are dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now a hundred million dollars, and maybe, bro, maybe, maybe a cup of brews, mil, bro. You a, know what you can a do cup of brewskis. <laughs> what you could do with a hundred mil, bro? You Did you just say no? West Virginia? He no, said... I would, I would do it if I had a female. Maybe even my male cousin. Honestly, a hundred <laughs> mil, you could buy half of West Virginia. You'd be <laughs> set. <laughs> I'm glad how you changed your answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate you coming on, man. Nah, all right, bro. I appreciate it. Bro. I appreciate you, Brody. All right, see you. See you. Hey, what's going on, baby? How you doing, dog? Uh, it's Mike, too. What up? Oh, it's Mike, too. Well, you on the podcast right now. Oh, what's going on with it, man? <laughs> what good. it do? I can't call it, man. Staying out the way. 
<laughs> for sure, for sure. What you, what you been on? We've been trying to see if people got crazy stories. I know you got a lot of crazy stories. Mike was the first dude I know that actually admitted that he eat everything on a girl. He had sucked a bristle off a girl. Oh, nigga, don't play with me. I play with the motherfucking heart through the movie. Dad, you know what I'm like, don't play with me. I'm, I'm nasty, nigga. I'm probably the nastiest nigga I know for real, for real. <laughs> When you said that, I thought you were talking about me. I was like, bro, what? No, Mike, Mike, the first person I know that meant to like eat everything on a girl. And I was just like. So, Mike, would you consider yourself a munch? <laughs> no, because, see, when she made the song Munch, she was hoeing people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the motherfucker she be messing with, it's like they be munching on the first night type shit. Like, no, nah, baby girl, you gotta have me. I gotta be like a month in. <laughs> a month in, you know. And then, especially, but it all depends, though. If I really like you, if I really like you, I don't care. I'm, a, I'm grown. If I really like you and I'm off that cognac, hey, it's gonna get nasty. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> hey. Uh, it's it, it, it's gonna get dashed. It's definitely gonna be some rural to the tour, some toes, just some, 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 some toes fucking everything, man. <laughs> but, hey, it be like that. What's what's the craziest? <laughs> what, what's the craziest thing you ever did to a girl? Oh my goodness! You know what's crazy? Oh, uh, not really too crazy out of <laughs> no. the ordinary. Pause uh, on the question. No, no. Big pause on the question, but hey, <laughs> oh what's the craziest thing that ever happened? Uh, a girl pooted on me before. <laughs> I was ready to go in. I was younger, though. I was probably like 13. I was ready to go in, and all I heard was, <laughs> I looked down, and her booty hole was closing. <laughs> I got, I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got turned off. I got turned off. Little bro went to sleep for the night. <laughs> it was over with. But uh, um, it messed me up because it messed me up because uh, 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 a female asked me to pee on her before, and, and I I I ain't, I ain't know how to react to that, man. You know, I'm like shit. I, I guess I'm not that freaky. <laughs> you know, that's, some, that's some disgusting shit right there. You'd be like, hey, are you rich? What? Uh, like, how does that conversation go? Like, it's just like, it... man, we were just talking one day. And, uh, like, shit, like, uh, low key. I don't, I ain't even never had sex with a girl for real. And, um, we was talking one day. She's like, no, nah, man, what's the freaking shit you ever did? I'm like, I mean, I don't know, just consider it freaky, but shit, I do the ordinary shit when a nigga in a relationship. And she like, yeah, we'll do, we'll, we'll, uh, well, you know, if we have, uh, we'll, uh, if we do it in the shower, I want you to pee on me. Shit, okay, I changed my number on that bitch. Like, I'm good on you, shorty. <laughs> Crazy. You do voodoo or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right on that. that's wild. That's crazy as hell in the shower, so she, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she a pro. But, with my, with my old lady though, I get nasty. <laughs> I get nasty. That's what, hey, but that's why I like being in a relationship though, man. Like when I'm in a relationship, I don't I don't care. Like I ain't about to just be going around just eating on any female, random female I'm hitting hell no. But like the relationship I'm in now, and then see my girl older. So it was like I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Dating the older girl, <laughs> man. Look, bro. Hey, look, man. Look, 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 look. First of all, let me tell you something, man. Look, I'm 28. I, you know, I just turned 28. I was 27 when I met her. She 36. Man, look, bro, when they say when you dating an older woman, they got that high sex drive, man, look, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Them, them first couple weeks, nigga, I was damn near ready to call for help. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. Like, nigga, we go to sleep fucking, shower, go to work, come home fucking, eat, fuck, sleep again, fuck. Motherfucking watch the game. I'm like, God, all we, do, I'm like, we fucking so much. Man, look, bro, I was in there turning light skin. I was fucking so much, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? I'm like, oh my God. Hey, remember, remember uh, what Afro Man say? Thought to myself, she, she, but got my ass looking like a zebra. Nigga, that shit real. <laughs> that shit was real, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. But hey, but I ain't gonna lie. I, I held my own, though. Shit, I stood my ground. 
<laughs> that boy said he put up a fight. Oh, shit. Oh, I, man. Oh, no. I, matter of fact, you know what? I got a crazy story. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, go my ahead. Girl, bro, my girl gave me my first threesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, dog. Hey, look. I don't know if I want to know this. Hey, look. Hey, I was so fucking... I was so drunk, bro. I blew the miss. <laughs> I blew the miss. I couldn't stand that straight. But look, though, man, I was already drunk, bro, and I ain't know what was about to happen. And you know, when you're too drunk, at the end of the day, you're too drunk, man. And, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was so sick. I was embarrassed. I'm like, damn, bro. So you had the gummy worm. This shit was over with, huh? <laughs> man, what? <laughs> he fell down and did not get up. <laughs> You got enough. Uh, hey, you going viral? <laughs> you gotta. You just did a million hey. view video. Just, just know that. <laughs> man, look, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Like, you know when they say like how man confidence shoot down, bro. I was so shot because it was nothing I could have done about it. I, and that from that day forward, I slowed down on my drinking. Hey, shoot. That'll do it. That'll do it, man. All right, OG. But we that, appreciate we appreciate you coming on, Brody. Hey. I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Hey, I'm so proud of y'all too, though, bro. Like, man, like that movement y'all got going on. Like, I literally lay there every night and be scrolling through social media and y'all videos will pop up, bro. And I just go through them. You know what I mean? Like what y'all doing, bro? That shit is so smooth. I'm, I'm proud of y'all, man. And congratulations on everything. Appreciate Fact, you, bro. Congratulations on, on the baby, man. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks, bro. Y'all are, man. Keep it up, bro. All right, Brody. Hey, stay up. You already know. Hit us up. You know, and next time I come down there, I'm, I'm gonna do a live. I'm gonna come to this to the station and do a whistle. We should that. damn near bring the damn podcast to come into the homecoming. <laughs> we should bring it to homecoming. <laughs> Y'all be fired. When is homecoming. All right, let's do it then. The, the 15th. All right, bro. I'll be on y'all. Be good. All right, peace. All right, Brody. All righty. What's the deal, yeah. OG? What's good? What the, what's the business is? All right. <laughs> My anniversary and everything. So, all right, that's that's a, that's, a, we, that's yeah. a great start too. Because I'm gonna ask you which anniversary. <laughs> wait, what you mean? Which anniversary? Oh, my wife. Wait, wait, wait. Did you didn't you message us say you were in a polygamous relationship? Yeah, yeah, we poly. So you know, we got a little girlfriend. Oh, okay. You gotta explain this to me then. So yeah, yeah. Is, I'm is, confused. Is it is it called a polyg polygamous relationship? Uh, polyamory. Poly. Oh, ooh, that's a hard word. But go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I was saying if you can explain to us what a polyamorous relationship is. All right. So, well, my uh, my wife is bisexual. Me, I'm straight as hell. And you know, we both like women. So, we date. We started dating women together. Well, you know, it started off with the whole threesome thing and stuff like that. But then we start. We got tired of being like late night booty calls, so we actually wanted something serious. So you know, we end up we end up deciding to um, find a girlfriend together. Like, how does that process work? How does like how does it work? How, like, is there a know. website for that? I mean, you know, there's apps you can get on Tinder. It's like some um, you can get on Instagram. There's like little communities and stuff like that. We was tripping out of uh, tripping about it too, like. It's uh, it's black pollination, um, melanin pollination that you can look up on Instagram. It's all types of stuff. I guess uh, how do you know that person's into that before you approach them? Oh uh, well, in the beginning, it's kind of crazy because we started off like, like well, not really dating separate, but we were going on dates, and then we was gonna spring it on them like, ah, you know, like hey. Uh, you know, I got to I'm married or like, oh, you know, I got a partner. Are you into 
you into stuff like that. Oh, but then, y'all was going like, y'all was gonna go on separate dates. And then yeah. once you get the girl, you was gonna spring it on them at some point, and then see what they yeah. with it separately. Got it? Yeah, yeah. But then um, that started, you know, so women started acting like real crazy on stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's a crazy story that we got on that about our first girlfriend. But oh, yeah, y'all had um, multiple but, girlfriends? Yeah, yeah. We yeah we dated a lot of women. That's so we dated interesting. Married women. We dated women that uh, have boyfriends and stuff like that. We dated single people. See, that's the problem. We got a lot of. We dated a lot of women that was like, kind of um, poly curious. You know, they just wanted to test it out, see how it is, and then like, oh, I like this, and then they was like, all right, I'm gonna go start up my own. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Kind of oh. use this as a little trial thing. Right. Y'all was trying to be serious. Y'all wasn't caring about the. Like the experience, y'all just wanted something serious, and people, it's a lot of people that play around, probably jump in and out of that stuff. So then, exactly, yeah. So then, when you say dating, what like when I think about dating, just like just just say in a hetero, heterosexual relationship, right? Um, I'm a guy. Um, I, I'm just saying, like I'm a guy. She comes over, sleeps over sometimes. We go on dates. She might live with me at some point, type of thing. Like, what is that like for? you and your wife are dating another girl. All right, so it's like a triangle thing. It's like, you know, of course, me and my wife have a relationship. Then me and my wife have a relationship with the girl. And then, like, her and the girl have a relationship. And then me and the girl have a relationship. You know, it's like we do stuff like that. Like, it's there's going to be times where we're all together. Then it's also times that we do stuff separate. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. we got to get that bond going and everything. And, and you and your wife... Are no arguments or nothing has ever come of this? Oh, no, hell no. We got into it. We was ready to box a couple of times. That's why I got boxing gloves on deck because, you know, <laughs> we be going head to head. <laughs> yeah, jealousy is real, man. Yeah. Like, even, even when, like, it's both kind of like y'all thing. Wait, say that again? I said, even though it's like both kind of y'all thing, they're yeah, still jealousy. I mean, Jealousy, dog, jealousy, man, I remember I bought this one girl a keychain, and my wife was just, like, looking at me like, mm, you never bought me a keychain? I was like, do you even like keychains like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. We got into it about that a little, but then she ends up, like, like realizing, all right, all right, all right, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Shit, it was, like, times, like, with me, like, I'll come home from work and see them over there doing each other's nails, and I'm over there looking like, damn, nobody want to do my nails? I just got off of work, you know, like... Mm. You know, it's just little shit that you trip over, but that's just like a natural human trait that you yeah, can't yeah. get rid of. Jealousy is always going to be there. It's no. just how you handle it. No, facts, facts. So then do you guys have, like, set boundaries then that y'all can't cross? That's the number one. You got to set boundaries. You know what I'm saying? You got to. So what's a boundary of, like, your current... So you got a girlfriend and your wife. What's a boundary that you set? Because I can't imagine any boundaries that... I can't even imagine anything. Basically, just like what open communication, and that's it. Yeah, you gotta communicate. You can't like, you know what I'm saying. You like boundaries is like, like say if I come home and I, you know, I, you, it's really you just can't keep nothing in the dark. Like if I if I want to come home and smash, I can't just like do it on the low. Like, oh dang, you want to go to the store real quick? Okay, like tell her like my girlfriend, oh she about to go to the store, and then I hear and get a quickie with the wife, and then you know what I'm saying she coming in like, damn, y'all can't wait till I leave or something like that. You know, oh, it's like oh, little so boundaries there's, like that. There's so, boundaries oh, so you gotta, set for the girlfriend as well? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, oh, so you got to tell like them, like, every, like, hey, we are about to go do this and do that. Oh, I guess that's, I where, mean, the, that's where the jealousy comes in. Because you almost got to keep, like, a tally because you can't do Basically. Yeah, oh, that's kind of, yeah, that's that's tough. Y'all got nah, yeah, to have a lot of communication like, skills. Yeah, yeah, you got to be transparent as hell. You know, you got to let, you got to let them... Everybody got to let know, like, I want to know, too. I don't want to go to work and then come home and just see y'all both laid out sweating and, like, damn, y'all really got it in without me. You know what I'm saying? See, like, I, w- I, would feel like, I would feel like, though, like, just most guys would probably think you got it easier. <laughs> yeah, they just see the image of two girls on my arm and being like, damn, I want to be his position. Yeah, nah, yeah. It's, it's two women. It's like one woman is already a headache, so now you got two. It's like, and then, you know, it's like the days they go back and forth. It's yeah, like, I'm talking about even know. from, like, a jealousy aspect of it. Like, most guys would probably think, like, oh, I wouldn't be jealous if my girl was doing stuff with another girl type of thing. Oh, no, nah, dog. You, if you ain't, if, you know, you got to experience that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's something about, like, 
at the at the end of the day, I know what I do in the bedroom. I know I get down. You know what I'm saying? But it's like when you, when you see a damn woman over there put the works or make your your wife, you know, moan a little a little bit crazy or a leg shake, you be like, God damn. Like, like, that is kind of wild. Do? You actually like get to like listen and be like, hey, I ain't never heard that note. Man, or seeing your wife over there just like, you know, like, you know, my wife is kind of dominant when it comes to the women. So she'll like, like, you know, like, uh-uh, lay down. And then she'd be going to work and I'd be like, God damn, like, you look aggressive over there. Like, did you learn that from me? Like, who the fuck? <laughs> like, where, where are you getting this shit from? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or putting on work and then sometimes you sit back like, it's mad sexy, but at the same time, you'd be like, is this what they do when I'm gone? Like, am I, like, am I in the way? Like, like damn. Am I in the way? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. You know, you kind of you kind of want to roll up in the ball after a while. Yeah. Like, they moans be a little bit louder. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I learned, too, like, like most women don't really climb, um, you know, or, or, well, orgasm off of penetration. It'd be really like the stimulation of the, you know what I'm saying, the clit and everything. And then when women be bumping, you know, scissoring, that's where they kind of get it from. So I'd be like, I'd be over there putting it down. They'd be over there like, yeah, you're doing your thing. But, you know, orgasm between multiple cones is like, you, you really can't top it. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, that's some good info, bro. Yeah, hey, the but, listener's going to be happy about this. But that was actually very interesting. That was super interesting, Brody. Hey, hey, can I shout out my TikTok? We talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Yeah. You too. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, check us out on Hops and Love. And um, and I'm an audio listener too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta throw that in there. Hey, you probably the coolest audio listener I've met. Hey. Hey, I respect that. You bring hey, you a regular caller too. Shit, yeah. me and my son, we go to work and um I, we listen to y'all all the time. We oh. started on like episode four. Damn. Oh, damn! Yeah, yeah, we been there. TikTok kind of put us on. Y'all, y'all niggas is funny as hell. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, you bringing the audio listeners up. The last audio listener, his he was literally talking to us. His mattress was on the floor. Oh, damn. oh shit! <laughs> so hey, you bringing them up? Hey, he had a little piss stain on there. Too. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Audio <laughs> listeners, y'all up, y'all up, y'all up to one. <laughs> Y'all's at zero. <laughs> hey, nah, three for Polly. <laughs> okay, bet it up, bet it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, give me right, a bitty time. I love to be on y'all shit, bro. Nah, for sure, bro. For, for sure, Brody. Oh, hey, one more thing. Go Check ahead. us out on TikTok on Hop Some Love. We got some poly videos. Like we got like 64k followers on there, and we be like we be hitting millions. All right, bet. Yeah. So shout it out one more time. Just tell them how Hops to spell it. Love. H O B S O N and L O V E. All right. Now go check them out. Go check them out. Appreciate you, Brody. Uh no problem, dog. Yep. Yeah. That was actually really interesting. That was really good. <laughs> it's right, like man. it's funny that some of the calls don't even even be about like the jokes. Sometimes. Yeah, like it was like the army one. Yeah. It was like, it's just nice to like let somebody. Talk. I was actually intrigued. I was too. Yeah, yeah. So this Wake Forest uh, quarterback he threw for six touchdowns, and during his press his press conference, he was like, um, "We lost, so it was a failure. Stats are great, the touchdowns are great, but a loss is a loss." And I hate those type of people. Because they're not saying they're they're true emotions. If I I don't I'm not gonna lie. There's some games I'm mad that I lost, but I am still happy that I I broke a record. If I drop sixty points in a game that I lost, I'm still gonna be happy I dropped sixty points. I'm be just like Devin Booker. Yeah. <laughs> when he was holding up that seventy two. Yeah. After they lost in the garden, I okay. I'm still holding it up. Yeah. Like, I'm going to brag about my accomplishments. Like I don't obviously team accomplishments. Our accomplishments are over the your individual ones, but when your individuals eclipse the team accomplishments, I know. But ain't that crazy <laughs> that if he even shows any excitement towards the sixth touchdown, his draft stock is stopped. Yeah, and a, people are like drop winner's mindset. Nah, it's like, not a winner's matters. mindset. He lost. Like, <laughs> like, bro, like, how many? I I hate when they try the the thing that pissed me off about the NFL is that during the draft process they try to judge kids off if they're good or not. Mm-hmm. And then, like, a good person or not. And then if somebody's not a good person, they still sign them. Like, it'd be a dude to be like, bro, you got four domestic violence cases. Oh, yeah. But people are still signing you. Mm -hmm. But during the draft process, y'all be like, oh, it looked like he don't want it. So his draft stock dropped. Yeah. Like, what? Like, <laughs> this dude out here 
He's selling drugs when he gets to the end. Nah, <laughs> yeah. That's the worst thing, bro. Like, I don't respect nobody. Yeah. Like, if you got to get it in, you got to get it in. Like, it's different people in the trenches. Like, you got to, sometimes people got to do what they got to do to mm. get some money. But if you are a fuck in the NFL, bro, <laughs> in the NBA, he'd be like, damn, I want to be a drug dealer. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's a wild ass concept, bro. Uh, I was shooting, um, I was shooting, uh, helping produce another podcast for one of my clients, and one of them were talking about. Um, there's a thing called Bumble Friends. Make my exact thoughts right. I said, please tell me more about Bumble Friends. I can see where that's going. Go ahead. Bumble Friends is when you try to match with a friend. On Bumble. That's crazy. So a dude can want to match with a girl on Bumble Bumble as a friend. <laughs> oh man, the amount of cap in those people's profile. <laughs> to, to slide in to slide into a girl's DM and convince her to be your friend is wild. That concept crazy. Yeah. Like, listen, like, I don't even know how to start. <laughs> like, hey, I ain't trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't want to be your boyfriend. I want to be your friend. <laughs> like, that's the line. like, Because the opposite line would be like, I don't want to be your friend. I want to be your boyfriend. Yeah. So they saying, I don't want to be your boyfriend. I want to be your, your friend. friend. What's up? What you into? <laughs> Try to make like <laughs> Ain't that, a dating app for friends is kind of it's just a wild concept. And I mean, like, but that is like Instagram and Facebook though, because I do I've made friends on Instagram that I only know on on Instagram. Listen, I don't even feel like I'm a like a crazy like that I can just make fans friends out the brink. But yeah. I feel like it's really easy to make friends. <laughs> yeah. Like it's friend groups yeah. I know that are so nice. They'll let anybody in that bitch. <laughs> hey, no, no tryouts necessary. Yeah. <laughs> like, you ever met people that nice? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You meet people one night, they be like, hey, man, you can sleep on the couch, man. <laughs> oh, Pat, you ain't got a drink. Here's a $1,000. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> nah. <laughs> you ain't being my friend. Yeah. It's, it's always funny when you always have that those two friend groups of yourself. You have that cool friend group. Because we got that, like, that that engaging like cool friend group as well but then we got that friend group like yeah they wouldn't y'all wouldn't really mesh hey, you don't bring two friend groups together yeah <laughs> i do that all the time people like oh ain't never hang yeah i mean i've been in the situation where you brought me to a different friend group you i feel like everybody got that friend that they yanked to every friend group yeah everybody got you know you got your two or three friends that you'd be like this is this is my guy we go anywhere together like here, here, here. But you got that friend, just be like, you got to stay over there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're a little crazy. You're still my dog, but you, you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take you. Be like, bro, I ain't, why I ain't never met your grandma? Because you still, Ronald. <laughs> you still. <laughs> you fucking still, man. <laughs> Not taking you to my grandma's house. <laughs> you can't meet her. You can FaceTime her. <laughs> you got sticky fingers, bro. You literally still in front of me every day. <laughs> I try to tell you to stop, bro. <laughs> I ain't never meet your girl last night. I mean, how come I never met your girl before? Well, you slept with my ex, so <laughs> you're, you're, you're on the wrong track. You're, you're cut off right now, man. <laughs> Bro, I'd, be you... wild, I'd be wild to still still your friend, though. <laughs> bro, why you don't never go out with me? Bro, you a diabetic and you don't check your insulin. <laughs> I, I can't do that, bro. I can't go out to eat with you. Or you always think somebody looking at you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about what, man? Dude, if dude come up to the table one more time, I'm beating his ass. That's, that's, that's the waiter, bro. <laughs> that's the waiter. <laughs> Bro, every time I talk, she writing that shit down. Fuck going on. <laughs> she she taking she taking your order. <laughs> she she taking your order, bro. <laughs> bro, if this bitch asks me one more time how my food doing, bro, you nosy ass. <laughs> she just waiting to see if you got any adjustments to your plates. <laughs> if you got an adjustment, then she take the. Yeah, man. <laughs> just chill. That is a kind of funny question though. Like when when I'm already like halfway done with my food and the waitress comes over and says, 
hey, how's it? How's everything so far? I'm like, well, you got to hit too late now. You got to hit with the dad joke when you got a clean plate. Can't you tell I hated it? Like what? Shut your ass up. Well, you, I feel so disrespected when somebody hit me with a dad joke. <laughs> like, not a good, like, a in-passing dad joke. Yeah. I love the dad jokes where people sit down and tell, like, the corniest joke and try to get you to laugh. Especially intentionally, a little intentionally corny. Yeah, it's like, you trying to be, like, I was just intentionally corny. Like, you trying to be intentionally corny. Yeah. But the, if that's your, like, landing joke, <laughs> and you know they all, the reason they've been doing it, because they got a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, who been laughing at this lame shit? <laughs> This dude then built his family to laugh at his jokes. Mm. Like, <laughs> he took over. That shit ain't funny. <laughs> y'all know your daddy not funny? <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, it's a good dad, bro. I went to Chicago this weekend, and I was trying to ask my dad where to meet him. Uh, t- we were trying to go to this African store, right? Uh, but when I was asking for direction, I would say, what's the name of the store? He would not let me know the name so I could put in my GPS. It's on the corner of uh, Lawrence and Sheridan. Just type in that. I'm like, Dad, just tell me where the place is at. Just go down uh, Clarendon and you turn. I'm like, bro, just tell. Like, I feel like parents don't understand the concept sometimes of like, or my dad at least, of just hey, GPS. Bro. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm directionally challenged, bro. <laughs> if you tell me, if you tell me to turn more than two left, yes, bro. you lost me. You left me. <laughs> you hey. have to give me. I need the exact address or name, bro. Like, you not, bro. You tell me to meet you in the corner, and the place is not even on that corner. It's like down the street a little I, bit. So I'm like, I, don't even know which way to go. And also, my language is different. Yeah. I mean, when I ask people to exit, bro, I don't want to hear no fucking names. I want to hear the exact. Number. number exactly like, hey, you bro you get off on martin luther king like what exit is and you never looked at the exit number <laughs> <laughs> fuck is wrong with you it's a martin luther king in every hood i'm sick of this shit <laughs> <laughs> boulevard <laughs> avenue <laughs> like what god martin it's, luther king state that shit don't even make sense it's my same thing with people when you ask somebody the time when you ask somebody the time and they tell you like a quarter past six. I hate that, bro. Like, Boy, just tell me the time. I just want to be late for no reason. <laughs> quarter past six. <laughs> the sunset should go down right about. Shut up. Yeah. Jimmy Neutron, get your but, ass on. Yeah, the only things I like, the, the simplest things I can hear is like an hour from now, half yeah. an hour. But if I'm asking you what time is it, just tell me the exact time. Man. <laughs> No, the worst is when you ask someone a question to speed up your process, and they waste your time yeah. by telling you, like, another option. Yeah. Like, hey, how much, uh, what degrees to put the piece on? It's on the back of the box. Like, nigga, <laughs> what the fuck wrong with this dude? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What, what is wrong with him? Boy, hey, he sleepy as hell. <laughs> no, I had a thought in my head, and it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <Damn! laughs> and I and it's hard in the podcast when you're trying Whoa. to. Whoa, bro! I literally there was no pause in between it. I said it's hard on the podcast. <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, you asked the question you asked already was wild already. There's no coming back from that. I'm up a hundred. I'm up a thousand, a thousand while, whatever they call it. <laughs> That's episode. your choice, man, on that one. <laughs> but it's hard on a podcast when you have a thought in your head and you're still trying to keep a, a conversation. Yeah. And you're not trying to forget that thought. So that's why yeah. I got so quiet after you said that. Because oh. I was like, I was, I was fighting for a dear life. Because I had, I was like, I could feel it. I could feel the, the thought slipping. No, I'm like, oh, that shit. Sh- that shit is funny. Yeah. The the thought was slipping away from you. That shit hurts so bad, yeah. bro. You like everybody, y'all. You'd be like, no, nah, the cat. What did I say the cat do? Wait, what's even the cat? The fuck I'm at, man? <laughs> hey, you lose it all the way. You'd do anything. I'm not going to lie. I, just, I had it and I lost it again. <laughs> Oh, that bitch be playing high and seek. Be like I'm back again, bro. I had it as we were talking. I was like, "Fuck yeah, I found it!" And then you kept talking. I was like, like "Shit, I'm, I'm back again." Uh, yeah, that oh, okay, I, I remember now. But <laughs> I hate. Don't please don't. The anticipation for this question should not be taken high. You know, I'm about to judge the fuck out of it. <laughs> it's just something I thought I have. Uh, so when somebody says push back a meeting, what does that mean to you? 
This what you lost in your fucking <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This shit terrible. No, Ask no, it again. No, it, when somebody says they're gonna, when somebody says they're gonna push back a meeting, what does that mean to you? When they say they're gonna push back a meeting, and your meeting's at one o'clock, when's your meeting? It's later. See, it's later, right? Yeah. I think it should be backwards to me, though. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, <laughs> because like, for instance, right? If, no, if you push, saying. if you push somebody back, right? You pushing it back to where they came from. So when somebody says, "Let's push this meeting back," so it should be the same time. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say it's like, "Say your meeting," push back. Yeah. If you push him back, but well, shut your ass. Up. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Fuck no. <laughs> Stupid as hell. Bro, I I I was so lost when somebody I to push that back. Cuz I have mul- I have literally had multiple clients, right? And That's a, crazy. a couple of them said, "We're gonna, can we push this meeting back?" And I'm like, I mean, it's like this meets at 9 o'clock. But why, listen, why would they want to have this meeting at 6 no, in no. the morning? <laughs> right. But that's your dumb ass. It's the same day. <laughs> Mike talking about damn, they going to read one time or what? Like what? Huh? You no, 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 no. Because it, if it's they, not the no, no, no. no. So Listen, if, Mike, no, if, no. If, if, if it's, it's a nine one, o'clock, no. If, if it's, it's one, nine o'clock, yes. It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock and now. Then, what you want to push it back to eight forty-five? No, no. Buddy. I'm not. Ta- I'm talking about a future meeting. If the meeting's at one o'clock, it's not one o'clock yet. And say, hey, find out today is going to be a busy day. Let's push this meeting back to. I'm thinking maybe they want to have it earlier to at eleven o'clock. <laughs> oh, you said when they sent it in. Oh, before the time it has yeah, yeah, come. Yeah, before the time has come. Oh, but still, you dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but what context does that make sense, though? I'm pushing it back. What do you mean pushing it back? Like, pushing the time Wouldn't back. that be pushing it forward? Technically. <laughs> it's America, man. <laughs> Y'all just make up rules? Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> That's how some of the TikTok people be in our comments, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy that, you know, like, bro, you look at somebody and be like, damn, this dude really hate us. He trolling us. And then you go look at his page. He only followed two people, us and his mom. Be like, bro, you love us. <laughs> what are you? You just hating for fun. That's how I be telling y'all, hug y'all dad before y'all watch y'all show. This is not a show that you don't hug one of your parents before watching. Hug one of your parents. Okay. <laughs> Get that soft shit out the way. <laughs> it was be tight as hell. Like that one TikTok. It's a TikToker with too many views. Hey, I'm not even hating. I swear to God, I was. I don't sick. even want to play that whole thing. It was I'm not long, playing that shit. It was a long thing. I swear to God, I don't even want to. Um, I mean, give context to what, what was I said. don't want to forget his name. Conscious something. I really want to say his name because I don't say care. Say his name. I don't know his name. Uh-oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's going to be hard to find, too. But I don't want people to say I forgot his name because I'm hating. But I want to say his name because dude, garbage. But uh, some dreadhead dude, basically, uh, he kind of, he's got like 2 million followers. So he's pretty popular on there. He was like... Uh, oh, here he is. The Conscious Lee. Yeah. So we said... Uh, what was oh, we were talking about how some racist people be trolling mm-hmm. in the game. Mm-hmm. And sometimes to combat racism, you have to play roles. Like, yeah. you can get, like, somebody can attack you on a game, so you gotta play roles. Like, nigga, you attacking me, calling me all types of shit, about to play a role and call you something you don't wanna be called. Yeah. <laughs> he took us saying that to saying, why would we shoot down another black man, basically? We're gas. We're we're, we're ga- trying to tra- traumatize, gaslight, whatever words you use. We're trying to gaslight. Saying words have power. The words have power, let just, idiot. Let me just scroll to what he said. There you go. Wait a minute, you white? I was like, yeah. <laughs> What's it to you, boy? He said, I'm gonna kill your ass. Bro. I swear to God, when I kill you. <laughs> Does he realize that this speaks volumes of his character? He's willing to racially gaslight somebody else. Somebody else. First of all, when, whenever you hear somebody start a sentence, it's like, hmm. <laughs> you already yeah. know. That he this dude, to... <laughs> like, bro, he is literally a preacher, bro. <laughs> There's no way like this. Like, when people act like this, bro, it's an act. Yeah. It's like, you can be that way and not, like, you're searching out for content. Like, you're not even trying to. You took out of all the racist shit on the app. <laughs> yeah. You came to our video. Two black men 
and tried to put us out there for something that we didn't even say. Yeah. He tried to twist our thing. Yeah, the, and, and then the comments, so we go to the comments, you would think we only have, we have 125,000 followers on TikTok. He has 2 million. So when we go to his video, we like, damn, he probably got a big ass following. Half of the comments are like, bro, what are you talking about? His whole post, like, it's actually more comments for us than him. Yeah, it's, it's a weird concept. Spaces or places. Let me bro, Spaces or places. He even rhyming, bro. It's a rap. That's some anti-intellectual point at the expense of their own people. <laughs> that nigga rapping. That strung up in that shared blood for me and Carl Boyd. Just like you can recognize when veterans feel like you disrespecting their symbols, they get irritated. They get knocked off their square emotionally because they know people that shed blood for them symbols, right? How come them symbols right there matter to you more than the other ones? <laughs> My man said with his whole chest on the podcast, yeah, I like knocking our people off their script. No oh, one said it. that. Nobody said that. <laughs> y'all just y'all can go look at the video. <laughs> that nobody said that. <laughs> and Who, one one, he, they don't know what the person said to you on the game set. Two, they don't know if the story is true. And another thing I hate seeing is like when people like Oh, they should really be interviewing people before they give uh, them podcast mics. Like, bruh, we built our own platform talking about shit that we like to talk about. Like, you don't have to be involved. In, you don't have to listen to the whole podcast. He didn't have to stitch that if he didn't want that to be spread. You just spread our message. To more. 2 million people. So say if you're really, really, really toxic and bad for the black community or whatever community he represents, right? And... Now you're spreading that message. Now the people that might have agreed with us are <laughs> say we were spilling like bad, hateful messages. Th those people that kind of agree with us, you just gave us more people to, to follow. It's like at the end of the day, people's following is what really matters. Like the people that listen to us are what really matters. Like I don't really like TikTok is cool and stuff like that. Like, but at the end of the day, it's like people that listen to this hey, whole podcast. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it a being with you. I'm gonna keep it G with one of y'all. All of y'all, I want you to go look at our numbers and look at people with a million, two million. Some of these people that started, TikTok does a thing. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this. If you get a lot of followers, it, it minimizes the amount of followers that you can get in a certain time. Like, if too many people press follow at the same time, it won't work. You see it all the time on lives. Like, people aren't allowed to push follow, and sometimes it doesn't always go through. So, in saying that, it didn't always used to be that way. They just built that. So all them people that got all of them followers for you see people with 500, 600,000 followers because everybody was following everybody back then when the app first started off. And these people have low views. You're probably, with your personal page, pulling us just as many views as they are. Mm -hmm. Like, we've had four or five million view videos in two weeks. And you can and that one one of our videos is worth their numbers that they have for the last two months. So when he and, got, the, and the difference is that a lot of the videos that go viral of the our actual listeners, <laughs> our listeners' voice. Exactly. So it's like it's like we're all creating content together in a they're, sense. There, you you have two million <laughs> followers. Okay, <laughs> we have a hundred and thirty thousand. So when our like one of our posts right now has five hundred thousand likes. About to be 600,000 likes. And it's the guy that was talking about the but prison But we thing. only have 125, 26,000 followers. So it tells you a lot of people are liking our stuff, not viewing. Don't look at views, look at likes. A lot of people are liking our stuff that more, way more than we follow. You have 2 million and you have 6,000 likes on this post. Yeah, uh, my point wasn't really about the... The following. What else? Like my that. fucking point. <laughs> I don't really like that stuff. Doesn't really matter. It's just like it's cool that we get to create content with our actual listeners, that that and people that fuck with our podcast and dude is on the internet just looking for shit to hate on. Like, looking for shit to hate on, dude. But anyway, it's, 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 it, it is what it is. I think this is it's, what, looking it's at, one of those dude. things that it's gonna happen more. Man, fuck um, him. <laughs> I wish Pat, we could, Pat Beverly looking ass. I wish I could have him on the podcast and just like for him to explain his and point. punch his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he from the south now. From the south now. I'm from Texas. I'm like bro, oh, he got that Egypt. Up. He got the Egyptian chain on and having never been to Africa before. That fake ass shit. <laughs> anyway, we don't need to end on a, a sour note, but we, we do appreciate y'all. Y'all the reason why we keep going. Um, I mean, if nobody really watches us. 
we honestly would not keep uh, creating content. And we're getting, like, no views and shit. Like, bro, bro. we're doing this shit for for no reason because we're not really getting paid for everything, right? Y'all are just catching our face. These are our FaceTime calls. Yeah. (laughs) That's what essentially this podcast is. Yeah. They're our FaceTime calls. And it's it's just cool now that we've been able to include our actual listeners in our content as well. It's dope. We appreciate it. There's a video literally with 3 million followers. And all we did was ask the question and... You guys provide the content, so That's what I'm y'all making our job easier. So it's our community versus theirs. Whose side you gonna ride on? Let me tie right. our blue and red flags together. Unity, uh, audio listeners, YouTube listeners, let's come together on this one. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bigger cause. Let's put our differences to the side this week and make sure we stick together in this hard time. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, appreciate y'all. This has been episode 66. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Share it with your mom, your dad, your... um. Who else is, are in a family? Cousins? Sisters? Cousins, but they kiss their cousins already. Yeah, so. true, 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 true. The audio listeners? See, I'm, I'm glad the audio... Like, audio listeners... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. no they, we can start that back next episode. We got to come in unity against this dude first. Okay, okay. You know, put our put your audio listener flags up. Put your YouTube listener flags up. What song What song is like a unity song? No, 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 no. We're going we gonna to have to pay them. Huh? We're going to have to pay them. What song is a Unity song, though? Don't play no song. It's going to be copyright free. That's dope. Copyright. They try to copyright us for free. everything. Everything. Um, Unity song. They be like, oh, you hung Bob Marley. Like, what? <laughs> All right, give us give us a, a Unity outro, please. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Unity. So if you guys are out there, man. What the fuck is this? Put your flags up, dude. I just picked a random song. <laughs> this shit's ass. Come on. Bro, turn this shit off, boy. Turn this shit off. It's like a... Okay. All right, man. Are we out? Peace. Hey, boo, boo this man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, ass.